powerful smartphone like the Samsung Galaxy A73 should also have a fast and stable internet connection. However, there are times when connectivity issues may occur, and when that happens, the problem can either be with your network device or there's a minor issue with your phone. Whatever the case may be, such a problem is fixable. In this video, we will show you how to fix the Galaxy A73 that started having a very slow internet connection after the Android 12 update. But before we move on, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel to support us. Going back to our topic, here are the things you can do. First solution, disable the Wi-Fi service for a few seconds. If you've always had a good and stable internet connection through your Wi-Fi network, and then suddenly it became slow, then it's possible that it's just a minor glitch in your phone's system. So the first thing you have to do is make sure your device receives the signal from your router properly. Try disabling the Wi-Fi service on your Galaxy A73 for a few seconds, and then re-enable it. This often retains the stability of your connection. Here's how you do it. Swipe down from the top of the screen, tap the Wi-Fi icon to disable it. After a few seconds, tap on it again and allow your phone to reconnect to the network. After doing that, perform a speed test to see if your phone now has a good internet connection. Second solution, restart your router and your phone. There are also times when a problem like this occurs because your devices have been online for a long time already. So if the first solution failed to fix the problem, then what you have to do next is to refresh the memories of your router and your phone. Here's how you do it. Unplug the router from the outlet, or simply disconnect the power cord from the main unit. Leave it without power for a minute or two. While waiting, press and hold the volume down button and the power key of your phone for 10 seconds. This will trigger the device to shut down and power back up. Once the logo shows on the screen, release both keys and allow the phone to continue the boot process. Now, plug the router to the outlet or reconnect the power cord to it. Wait for the router to start broadcasting a signal and then let the phone reconnect to the network. Most of the time, this procedure will fix any Wi-Fi issue. However, if the problem continues, then move on to the next solution. Third solution, delete the current Wi-Fi connection. After refreshing your device's memories and your phone still has a very slow internet, then perhaps the current connection is corrupted. So the next thing you need to do is to re-establish the connection between your devices. It means you have to forget the current connection and have your Galaxy A73 reconnect to your router. Here's how you do that. Swipe down from the top of the screen, tap and hold on the Wi-Fi icon to open its settings. Tap the gear icon next to the network your phone is connected to. Tap forget at the bottom right corner of the screen. Tap the network you want your phone to connect and enter the password. Tap connect to have your device reconnect to the network. Once your Galaxy A73 is reconnected to the network, perform a speed test to know if the connection has improved. Fourth solution, reset the network settings on your phone. More often, the first three solutions are enough to fix a problem like this. However, if the problem continues to bug you, then it's time to reset the network services of your device. It's possible that one or some of the services stopped working, Resetting the network settings won't delete any of your files, but it will erase all the wireless connections. Here's how it's done. Pull up the app drawer and tap the settings app. Scroll down to find general management and once found, tap on it. Scroll down again and tap reset. Tap reset network settings. Tap the reset settings button and enter your security lock if prompted. Lastly, tap reset to proceed with the network settings reset. After doing that, have your Galaxy A73 reconnect to the Wi-Fi network, and then do a speed test. The problem should already be fixed now. If the problem occurs from time to time, you should try calling your internet service provider and inquire about your account and the network. We hope that this guide can help you one way or another. Have a great day.